Okay, so today in 3D Studio Max, depending on what version you have, we are going to instantly create cities with a plugin called Greeble. Now, I'm sure you've heard of Greeble and always wanted to get it like you searched on Google, then maybe you accidentally downloaded a virus, like in any skin and ignore the security suit, but like, it's not big of a virus, it's just like a, a virus that slows down your PC. So, really none of them work. They're just ads that say download real flow, but then they download something else. So, to, I mean, download Greeble, but they download something else. So, let's get to it. So, there will be a link in the description to go to this website max.clanky.com slash plugins.htn You'll see there it only has one plugin, Rebull. So here you could choose the version, this is like the first version, the worst. And I have the latest version, 2013. Ah. You click it, you save it, you open it. And you don't even like have to save it to your desktop or anything. Okay. I'm not going to show you my desktop icons, I'm private, but I will open my computer from here. So, really, um, my C is like so small and my D is so big and I have no idea how to resize it. So, depending on where you install 3 ds Max in your C or your D drive. I installed it in my D drive because it has like so many space and this has, oh my god, 53 gigabytes. So, Open up your C, most likely will be C for you, but mine's D. Program Files, Autodesk, 3ds Max, and then if you chose the design version and your version, right there. You scroll down until you see Plugins. You will see Plug Kit CFG, I think that's like the plugins that come with it. So you open that. You might have these plugins, but um, I didn't really put a lot of plugins. Um, last time I put a lot of my plugins, so to open up your Greeble. Now, depending on which version you use, do you use Autodesk? Well, I'm asking myself this question: Do you use Autodesk 3D's Max Design 2013, or do you use Autodesk Design 2013 64-bit or 32-bit? I use the 64-bit, so right-click, copy. You go into your last plugins folder, and then you copy paste there. Now it's here. By the way, you will have to restart um, Autodesk. So if you have it open, you must restart. Then you just click on X. You can X this out. You can X this out. Just close that. And then when you come to here, let's say I, I make a sphere. You probably won't see it. You probably won't see it, but if it does this, then just go ahead and click on reset. No, you don't want to reset yes. Maybe then it will actually work. I never tried. Nope. So I have to close it and open it again. Distraction. <sighs> okay. So now we got the Google plugin. So let's instantly create cities now. Go ahead and make a spear. Mm, I'm just gonna a very quick material. Let's use the material right here. Glass solid geometry. Fly. Okay, now I'll go here, modify list, do, 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 greeble. Now, wow, look at that. Let me make this solid for you, by the way. Um, Martin design, standard. Okay, that's a green material. Now, Sometimes the city might be big for you, or sometimes it will be 
small. Right now, these are very big. I want it to be like a whole world, like the first big world. So you just go to the sphere, or like previously, then you have to just change the segments. The more, and here, um, actually, let me show you what actually happens. Go ahead and enable edge faces, which should be F4 on your keyboard. These edge faces are actually going to be what is going to be extruded. Now, if you activate Greeble, how um, so I make this, yeah. Now you get the point. Now I got a city. You don't want a segment, let's just turn it off. Render it, and like put a like amazing shiny background. Go to your Greeble plugin, and you can choose if you want triangles. If you don't want triangles, there will be none at the top, because there is a triangle segment at the top. If you want to take a look, see, there are triangles at the top. But sometimes I don't want to enable triangles if I actually want you. Sometimes I actually want it to look like this, which is, I think, how I want it previously. Okay, I'm just going to activate triangles for this tutorial. Here you could choose the minimum height of the building and the maximum height. If you want all of them to be the same height, then like put this on 10 and this on 10, or this on 20 and this on 20. Um. You could choose if you want like these things on the top. See? I'll turn off before. If you want these things on the top, you could even choose what things you want. Like, I don't want these. It will be like this. And the minimum size, maximum size, next height, destiny, and. The more the destiny, the more things on the top. Which is gonna look better. Of course. Yeah. Got like an amazing city. Now you could like um. <coughs> well, let's just like give it to somebody, and uh, you can modify this for render only, which means you won't see anything here, but for the render you will. So and then you can click on about Greeble Greeble 1.6, which is by Tom Hudson. Tom Hudson collected the sign compile for Max 2013, which no one wants to know because you know. <laughs> Wait, I won't render this because I want to tell you some tips that will make this much, much building better. If you're going to use a material like I am, which I am going to use glass, make sure you do the following steps. Here, let me find glass, 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 glass. Um, uh, which one do you suggest? Clear. Okay, then what you do is you go to general, yeah, create tab, go to your systems, and then make it, make sure you're in a kind of far away angle like this, and then click on daylight. <coughs> click on yes, and then drag one from the middle. <coughs> I lost my voice. Drag so one from the middle like this. Looks like a compass around this whole object. Then click on yes, and then, look. then make this an however higher. Then click on this motion pin as you see all of your settings. So if you want to come in low, I see just like. But you also want to change your location. And then you could change like the latitude. I kind of mess with the settings because I had no idea what they do. Um, longitude, I had no idea. North direction actually just orbits it. So if you like have a good place but just want to orbit it, I mean the compass won't show up. Neither will this, but you know. And if you select this thing, it won't show up. You have to select this line. No, you have to select this thing. It will then show you all the settings. That, that, that. And now let's take a very quick render. Oh, by the way, you always want to make a plane. You always want to make a plane if you put this thing. Let's make the plane bigger. And now, voila. Now you're amazing, CT. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm just gonna render. Oh my god. I'm so old render. Wait. Take a while. Is it? I'm just gonna see how long my recording is like right now. Well, I can't, I just don't want. Well, you know, it's going to the studio. Um, of course I'm recording with Camp Data Studio. They're the best recorder out there. Well, they're all like some very, very, very advanced ones. I mean, look at that. You can even make like close ups to the city, except, you know, I didn't actually do that. This is going to take a long time to render, so I'm just going to click X. I mean, for like, total animation. So, and my rendering state. So, you have to just like, make a close up. Not inside, oh my god, I was inside. Shh. I am inside the best building I've ever seen in my life. Like right here. By the way, my computer is really fast. Shh. This is like the fastest speed like possible for a kid's computer. Well, I actually see it's much faster than this, but really, this is amazing. It's Windows 8. Okay, so still goes slow, but I almost did it. And if I do it, hold on. Is it showing? Nope, it's not showing my desktop. So now I can do Yep, I do have Windows 8. Okay, so now you can just save this, and voila. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. So, um, subscribe if this ever helps, because I need more subscribers. Um, I really do need more subscribers, and um, I will edit this as much as possible. So, yeah. So, bye. I um, hope this helps you.